Hey everybody, Sarai Willowbreeze Breeze here, and for today's video, I am going to go through and show everybody what the new Fantastic Fairy Tale Ever After Village looks like. Now, the first thing I want you to notice is listen carefully. You've got crickets chirping. You've got a, you can hear the wind blowing. There's birds singing, and you hear that? There's an owl in the background. Isn't that cool? I thought it was so awesome. No music, no noises, just the sound of nature. The wind and the crickets and the birds and the owls. And there's actually some pretty cool sound effects that are attached to the mount over here. Can you hear it? It's all squeaky and everything else. It sounds like it needs a little bit of uh, WD-40. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Get rid of that uh, squeak. But that is the mount. It's a four-person mount. You've got two people that ride on the inside. You've got one that'll ride on the back. And then you have one that rides on the front, kind of... Titanic style with the arms spread open. So that's a really fun mount to have. Now I'm going to get rid of some of this sound because this is just a little bit loud on some of them sound effects for the video. There we go. Now the pet that comes with it is this adorable little total. You see that? He's got a little crown on his head. He is just so adorable. I haven't trained him up, so I'm not really sure what his stats are going to be. But yep, there is the pet. And then we've got the male. Now look at this. What a vista this is absolutely stunning and it's just got a it's got a really peaceful look to it you can see the pvp ring down there and i do believe if i'm not mistaken that is rapunzel's tower got us a little farm over here i see a well on top of a hill over there. So let's just get on down here and take a look. Now this bundle is available at GameStop. It is called the Fantastic Fairy Tale Bundle. And um, you can get it in store. And if you can't find it in store, just hop online. That's where I got mine the minute I saw it online. Yeah, buddy, you know I had to grab this one. It's just so stunning. Look, look, look. This is amazing. Now we've got a nice little pond here that actually has a stream that goes under the bridge. And you can see there's fish here. And there is actually a golden goose doodle fish that is simply adorable. And I believe that Fish is going to be exclusive to this house. And then we follow the stream, and the stream ends up down there over by the waterfall. Now, we're going to start over here at the beginning, though, and we'll work our way around. Now, I did some experimenting, and yes, this house is alike for all your plants. Isn't that awesome? This makes the third house that plants like. I think King's Isle is listening to us gardeners because we would like to have some more options for houses that our plants like. And the more available, <laughs> the more I'm going to have in my book. You can guarantee that. Yep, yep, yep. And it's got a couple of gardening areas here. Oh, let me run over here and show you this. There is even a little marked area for a garden on the side of the hill over here. You see this? 
here it comes. There is a place to put plants over here. I'll show you real quick. Yep, going to be a wonderful place for plants. And actually, the way this is on a cliff, we need some rice plants because that's how rice is usually grown overseas is in different levels. So that would be a cool thing to see. Some rice plants. I wonder how they could do that. I don't know. I really don't. Yeah, I talk to myself like this all the time. Don't mind me. So here we are. We are running up on a house that has the appearance of a shoe. Now, can you guess what fairy tale this comes from? Oh, I know you can. The old woman in the shoe had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. Now, it overlooks our little fishing pond, so that's a li nice little touch. Cute details on this. Look at those windows. Now, the only thing I would add, and it's actually a little bit of a disappointment, is the fact that you've got this fabulous balcony up there, but you can't get to it. Yeah, I looked and looked, and I just can't find a single way to get up there. So if you want to utilize that, you are going to have to glitch up to it. Oh, that would have been such a cool little addition. A little patio balcony upstairs. Now, the inside of this house, you can see, is kind of oval shape. It's not overly large. Not in the slightest sense. And it is a total of four levels. The first two you get to by stairs. See, this is kind of a small room. The next two levels, you have, actually have to climb a ladder to get to them. Why did that come up? That's because I hit Z instead of X. Duh, Sarai. And we have another little quaint small room that takes us to the final level. Now, see, right there would be an awesome doorway to go out on that little balcony. Okay, so this is the shoe house. Let's head on down and go check out the next in line, which if memory serves me, we are going to be going to the three little pigs next. Let's see. Yep. That's what's going to be over here is and another interesting feature in most houses when you have an edge like that in the house, you can't go off of it. You have to go around and find your way down. In this house, They've made it so convenient. You can just run up and down these. Check it out. Nothing stopping you. All right, over here, we've got the three little pigs represented. We've got the house of straw. We've got the house of sticks and the house made of bricks. We'll go in there real quick. They're simple little rooms. That, with a little bit of imagination, I bet you could do something really neat with that. The next one is the sticks. And if you notice, the insides actually match the outsides. That was a good bit of thinking. A good bit of pre-planning there. Because it just fits with it. Look at that. That is absolutely perfect because it would just be strange to walk into a straw house and have walls. So, good job there, K.I. Really good job. Now, there's a house that you can only get through, get to through hidden tunnels. And that's actually quite apropos for the house that it is. Because if you remember, in Hansel and Gretel, they got lost in the woods. So following tunnels 
to the witch's house in the middle of the woods fits perfectly. It's a hidden little house. Now, what I think is such a wonderful, wonderful touch to this one, if you look, let me get rid of something. I just noticed that. I don't need. Where's the names? I want the names off. Oh, my goodness. No one. None. So much better. I apologize for that cluttering up the screen, y'all. I'm so glad I found it. Okay, back to business here. The effect that a lot of people wouldn't think of adding to this that I simply adore. Look at it. It's sparkling. The candy is sparkling in the sunlight. Now, how perfectly creative was that idea? Kudos to your, your graphics department for thinking of that. That is an awesome little touch. So we've got this fence made of gumdrops and, yep, candy canes and gumdrops. Look at that. And then the yard, well, the yard, the inside of the fence kind of looks like the top of a cupcake with sprinkles all over it. And the adorable details. We got lollipops and what are those gumballs? Yep, gumballs. See how adorable this is. The attention to detail on this is just outstanding. I wonder if I can see that if I back up some more. But the roof itself is rainbow colored. Let's see if I pull out enough to see. See the roof up there? Yellow, green, purple, and pink. Nice little rainbow roof. They didn't miss a trick with this house. Now, let's head on inside. This in and of itself is basically a one-story house. It carries over the cupcake with sprinkles theme to the inside. And look at that roof. Isn't that cute? That is so cute. Now, what they need to do here is come out with some candy-themed furniture, a candy themed furniture pack with different housing items that would fit into this. In fact, really, they could come out with packs that are themed to each one of these little houses. They could come out with the three little pigs packs that would fit in it. The old shoe. I'd love to see some furniture for the old shoe. That would be so cool. But the candy house, oh my gosh, I could have so much fun with some candy themed housing items. Ah, uh, you know what? There are candy wands and stuff from different holidays that would simply look adorable in here. You could apply some castle magic to them so and make them larger so they not only stand out but that little round plaque that shows on the wall with any wand that you hang up actually it it will disappear if you apply the make larger to an wand hanging on the wall when it grows that little plaque that it hangs by disappears into the wall so you won't even see that. And it looks like the wand is simply attached to the wall. And that's a great effect too. I should have thought ahead and brought the stuff and shown you how that works. Now I want to get out here and see if we can see that roof better. There we go. The overall appearance to this house is so cool. 
Even the roof is sparkling. I hadn't seen that. So the whole entire house, the fencing, it sparkles in the sunlight. That is so attractive to to children, which is the basis for Hansel and Gretel. They were drawn in by the magical house of the evil witch. Well, I tell you what, that would draw me in. Yes, it would. Oh, that is so cute. Now, let's see. We came in that way. But you know what? There's another hidden way to get out of here. See the stump right here? In fact, if you look closely, you can kind of see a little bit of difference. Now, hold on, because the first time I did this, I actually got my stomach kind of went kawumpus. So, without further ado, we are going to see the hidden exit to the can. Whoa, it still got me again. Oh, what a drop. And then we are going to come out of another tree. I simply love that idea. I really do. We've got a witch's house, hidden candy house from a witch. That you can only gain by secret cave tunnels or walking into a tree. Now, how magical is the thought of walking into a tree and going somewhere else? I I love it. I love, love, love this house. And from everything I'm reading on Twitter and Facebook, this is going to be the number one popular house. I bet you anything. People are going nuts over this. And here we go. Here is another massively sized garden area. I don't know how I would garden everything here. I'm going to have to, I'm going to glitch some stuff here because I don't think I can take care of that many plants. I mean, I've already got tons of Max Gardens as it is. Here we see that waterfall. We'll come back to the farm here because there's some cool things about this too. But we're going to see all the exterior stuff right now. Now what fairy tale brings to mind climbing up a hill to a well? Yep, Jack and Jill. Sure is. Now the really cool thing about this is you get a daily reward. Now, I picked up my daily reward a couple hours after what time it is now yesterday. So, it's going to be a couple hours before I can get this reward. But there have been some reports of absolutely spectacular new stuff being dropped from this. There is an adorable little mushroom house and quite a few other things. So, I'm really looking forward to see what drops from there. And there we have the little ledge growing area. So, this this house would surprise me with all these gardening areas if it was not a plant-like. Now, we've got kind of a dried out area here. I don't know if we can create a flood. But there's some interesting prospects here, especially since you can walk under that bridge. Decorating, glitching this house is going to be loads of fun, people. This is going, I am so excited. My brain is churning out smoke through my ears right now. Now we've got this waterfall, but there's something hidden behind it. So let's go down. And check out the secret door. Here we have a secret entrance. But what is it a secret entrance to? Let's go check it out. A big, giant, this looks like a tower room. And we've got a door, so let's go on out here and maybe this will show us. I know where that secret entrance led us. Looky there. That is a back door, basically, for Rapunzel's Tower. Now, once again, 
this house has something spectacular. Look at that balcony. Look at that balcony. Can you imagine being able to just utilize that? Oh, King's Isle, please make us be able to access these, these balconies. These are amazing. And even if you can't, I guess we'll just, we'll have to glitch our ways up there. And I can't wait to see what people come up with. I really can't. There's going to be some great glitching done with those balconies because they're just amazing. Gosh, I love it. So here we are back at the first floor. Now this tower has got a walkway that runs around the outside of central large open rooms. And yes, I've tried all these walls, so I can't find any kind of secret entrance or secret tunnel within this one. Let's get on up here, and I believe this is going to be the top floor here. Now, honestly, when I first came in here, I thought, ah, we can go out here to the balcony. But nope, it didn't work. I tried all these walls. There is no getting out to that awesomely perfect balcony. But, yeah, here we go. Rapunzel's Tower is three stories high. Solid brick. Stone brick. Brick stone. Something like that. That has a walkway. Glad it's not stairs. Boy, that would kill us wizards having to climb all them stairs. But it follows along the theme of Rapunzel's Castle. So let's get on down here. While I'm running, I'm thinking I don't want to miss anything on the outside before we head on to the main farmhouse here. There's going to be quite a bit that you can do with this. Like I said, my brain is just a churning away and there's smoke coming out of my ears. This one's going to be a blast to decorate. Now, as it stands right now, I've heard reports that you can actually glitch to the top of these um, semi-mountains, hills, cliffs. But you're going to have to glitch to be able to place items up there. Now, it's not going to be hard to do. It's going to take some type of platforms, floors, etc. But you can go up there and build on those. There's just no way to get up there unless you float your way up there. So, let's head on over here. And honestly, I can't wait to see what people do with those hills. That's going to be some really cool float jobs and glitches. Now, over there, we've got the main farmhouse. It's got a basic design, kind of, I guess you'd say Dutch looking almost. And we have a thatch roof. And you can see the chimney up there. Now, a really cute little addition to that would be if there was like some smoke drifting out of that fireplace there, out of that chimney. And we have got a cute country barn with great little details on, on the barn doors and the window up there. It's a good size, most certainly is. You can make this into stables for horses. You can buy them through the crown shop for gold also. There's a couple you can get for gold. So this would make some great stables. Um, get some hay out here, some horses, some supplies. You, you know what I'm talking about. Some wagons maybe. Yeah, that could be fun to do. Now this looks interesting, doesn't it? Well, this is actually a secret tunnel. That takes us inside the house. I'm not going to go all the way. But you can see 
that it comes in and has its own little landing. And then you're going to come out inside of a wall. So I'm going to back up so we can go in the front door of this. Now, as you can see, the styling of this quite resembles the Red Barn Farm. So, yes, they did use some of the styles from Red Barn Farm, but I would not call this a reskin because there are differences. Let's head on in here. Now the front door opens up into a very large central meeting area. Whatever you would like to call it. And you can see, yes, the interior does resemble the Red Barn Farm. Now on both sides of that first open area, we have rooms. They're a good size, not too big. Big, giant rooms can sometimes be quite difficult because there's so much space. I like the size of these rooms here. I think it would actually make quite cozy little rooms. Now, the hidden area that we came through, was it here? Nope. It's going to be this wall here. See? That takes us to the hidden tunnel right there. I wish there was other hidden tunnels, but there's not. That would just be so ultimately cool. And I've already done this, y'all. I've gone and tested every wall, but it's like every time I come back here, I got to check it again just in case. So let's head on upstairs, and we find ourselves at a small landing. Now, I haven't tried hanging anything here yet or putting anything down, and I'm not going to really take the time to do that because the video is getting a little bit long. So we're going to head on upstairs. Now, this is extremely reminiscent of the Red Barn Farm. We arrive up here to a rail, a walkway that is overlooking the main central area and once again we've got a good sized room not too big not too small I gotta try it one more time no see oh Sarai come on you know better I just keep looking I can't stop looking looking gotta be something else hidden here that I've missed but no, okay, stop it, stop it, stop it. You're making a fool out of yourself trying these. But my goodness, don't you just love secrets? I know I do. And here we have the last room in the central farmhouse. Now, this is interesting. There are brackets here. And I don't actually recall in the Red Barn Farm having these metal brackets supporting the beams but you know what that's actually kind of a touch of reality because a lot of times in houses built in real life they will have the brackets like that so i guess the last thing i'm going to do i'm going to open up and give you a chance to look at the gear and see what it looks like and what the stats are so let me pull this up for you. We'll start with the poison apple. And that is what it looks like. It's dripping blood. Man, they got some sick people. I love this imagine, imagination here. That is just so cool. So tier one, you can see it gives uh, two damage, and it is a death death wand. Um, level 10, three damage and a uh, power pip. Four damage. Level 30, four damage. And 80 on the wand. Uh, level 40 is five damage and 90 on the wand. Level 6, you start getting critical and critical block. 
level seven, the stats keep increasing. And that's basically what you're going to see for the rest of this is simply the stats going up. Now I'm going to go ahead and go through all of them to make sure that you can see them all. When you get up to level 11, tier 11, you start getting an extra may cast, which is basically a pumped up poison. Pretty cool, not too shabby. And here we go, your stats keep going up. Oh, and at tier 12, you start getting the pip conversion. So that's an, another extra added bonus. And here we go, you can see that they basically just go up from there. So I haven't decided who gets that, so I'm not accepting it. Now here is the gear. Look at that. I actually really like this, and I am definitely taking my sweet time trying to figure out which one of my wizards is going to get this. I don't know yet. So let's start out with the beginners. You can see that you get a tower shield, fairy, and a link card. You get some damage, um, total of about... Uh, uh, five, six, seven defense and ten damage total from the gear. You get a little bit of targeting and some pretty basic health, but that's the tier one. You go up and you can see that these stats are increasing. Oh, and you get outgoing heal. So that's a pretty decent thing to have. And the stats continue going up. Now, the cards do change. When you get to Tier 4, the hat will give you Legion Shield. You graduate from Fairy to Dryad. And on the footwear, you start getting Scald. And your stats keep on increasing. And the next level up, Tier 6. And still an increase in all the stats here. Keep going. You notice the cards are staying the same for a while. I do believe they're going to change here again in a moment when we get to the next level. 17% damage. That's really not too bad at all for level 90. Let's go on. And here we go. Those are the stats for that level. And that level... I could have sworn that these cards change, but I guess I was wrong. And there it is for the final level. So I believe that is it for that. I hope you have enjoyed our little visit to the brand new bundle, the Fantastic Fairy Tale Bundle. Available at GameStop, online, and in stores. So I am off to find some fabulously glitched and decorated houses for my next video today. Um, see y'all next time. Have a great day, y'all.